You don't got a lot of kick it, Craig. You don't got a lot of kick it. So look, there's a lot of people out here who are selling dreams or selling wolf tickets, if you will, right? So ultimately just telling people what they want to hear, telling people what tickles their ear just so that they can hook them in. And then ultimately they hook them in, they get the sale or whatever that thing might be. And then the people realize that the product that I bought, the service that I bought, it's not doing what it said, what they said it was supposed to do. It's not helping me elevate my brand. It's not helping me start my business or whatever else the thing was. So today, what I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to show you how you can begin to establish trust with your audience. Authentic trust, not the kind where you just tell people what they want to hear, but the kind that really is honorable and the kind that really helps you develop a relationship. So then you get the opportunity to invite them to walk beside in their business. Let's go and get into the episode. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, family? It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. If this is your first time tuning in and listening, welcome. Welcome. Okay, welcome. I'm excited you're here. I'm glad to be here with you because this is your number one source for podcast how-tos and podcast news. All right? So let's go ahead and just dive in. All right, today I want to first talk about giving the Guinness Book world record okay let me just commend podfest and podfest global because they set a record in 2020 then they came back around and then they broke the record that they set right this is what the, Pod, the podfest team had to say they said we are super appreciative and beyond grateful for our amazing community of content creators that help us break our previous record and set a new one of 5,816 attendees at their previous event last year. So PodFest, kudos, call the Guinness Book. We don't need to because you all called them twice and you set the record and then broke the record. So kudos and congratulations getting started there, okay? Next in podcast news, we want to just talk for a second we want to talk about everything that's going on with Mr. Rogan, okay? <laughs> Mr. Joe Rogan has caused an uproar, and it's like a war of technology, right? Brene Brown said, I'm going to go ahead and pause my Spotify exclusive podcast. Yeah, that stuff y'all got going on, mm -mm, I don't want none of that. So Brene Brown, who had an exclusive podcast with Spotify, said, I'm going to pause recording. I'm just going to hold off for a little bit, and then we'll come back and see what we need to do after. And I know that she was bringing some traffic. Hello, do you hear me? Next, next, the rock legend Neil Young went ahead and called Spotify and said, hey, 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 go ahead and remove my music, all right? Go ahead and remove my music. Citing, and this was the quote, fake information about vaccines, right? He said, Spotify, you can have Rogan or Young. You cannot have both. So look, like I said, this thing is creating an uproar. It's getting unruly around here. You hear me? Anyway, so uh, after that took place, then a U.S. satellite broadcaster, Sirius XM, has announced a Neil Young channel. Y'all, these people are not playing out here. They're not playing when it comes to choosing your side. When it comes to taking a strong stance, it's not a game, people. It is not a game in these streets. Also, the Sporting News 7 is a podcast that brings you the seven biggest sports stories in seven minutes at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard every day, every weekday, every weekday. All right, so that's a new podcast getting to get rolled out. And then a little bit more, we're almost done. Podcast news, though, it's rolling out heavy. It's rolling out heavy. And then if are you somebody who's struggling? Like you're struggling to come up with your podcast name. You don't know what to name your show. You don't know how to come up with a name. You're like, I don't know, John. I don't know what to name my show. Well, you're in luck because Riverside FM, they've created a podcast name generator. All right. And that 
you can go ahead and type in, you know, a few words that you feel describe your show. And then they're going to kick back a few options for you to potentially test and try out. I did it myself and I was not impressed. OK, I was like, uh, Riverside, I don't know. I don't know if those line up for me personally. But um, anyway, you know, hey, it is what it is. It's AI technology. So it can't always be right about everything. Anyway, that really wraps up today's podcast news. And as always, it's sponsored by the Get Paid With Podcasting webinar. Okay, you can go to yourpodcastmentorshow.com. And then at the top, you can click free training. And right there, you can go ahead and sign up for the webinar. All right, just like that, just like that. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about establishing trust. John, why do we need to establish trust with our audience? We need to establish trust with our audience because I believe that from podcast host to podcast audience or from podcast host to podcast listener, it's a relationship. All right. And if you don't have trust within a relationship, then you don't have anything. Let's go to story time. So I'm gonna take you all back to seventh grade. Okay. Seventh grade. I was a new kid out in Dallas, Texas. I was in middle school. And I was, you know, happy-go-lucky. Didn't have many girlfriends, but I kind of took a liking to this one young lady named Janae. So I'm hanging out at school. A couple weeks pass, and, you know, we're dating, right? We're dating. I'm walking her to her class. I'm buying her hot fries. I'm sitting by her at lunch. We were writing notes. You know what kids do in middle school, right? And then one day, one day, Janae... Happened to walk behind me as we're walking out of school. And I hear whispers. I'm like, what is going on? I thought I heard somebody say my name, but maybe somebody didn't say my name. Did I hear my name or am I tripping? Didn't know what took place. Kept walking out to school. And then next thing I know. A egg that Janae had been carrying around school all day. She cracked on my head. And at that time, I had a fro. So for one, the egg yolk is just running down my head. Then I go over to the bike rack where my bike is. And I'm wanting to get my bike so I can prepare to ride it home. But Janae had the bright idea to put herbal essence lotion all on my bike. So now I go home smelling like green eggs and ham and herbal essence body lotion. What? 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 Why is this story relevant? I thought I trusted Janae, right? I trusted Janae. And then Janae decided, no, John, no, you shouldn't trust me. Okay, you shouldn't trust me. <sighs> Why does this apply for today's content? First and foremost, it applies because you don't want to be, you don't want to get egged, okay? And you get egged when you give people misinformation and you allow them to trust and believe in you based on things that you told them. When in fact, they never should have trusted you before. All right. So the first point I have for you today. You always want to be integral and upfront. You always want to be integral and upfront within your business. Within your podcast. The Bible says in Proverbs 22 and 1, a good name is to be chosen rather than riches Loving favor rather than silver and gold. If you have a good name, people are willing to refer your show. If you have a good name, people are willing to refer your product. If you tell one person this price, you tell somebody else this price, and then you just continue to take people down a cycle to where you're not being honest and you're not being integral, You'll go out of business before you even get started really good. So 
practice operating with integrity so you don't get the egghead, okay? Nobody wants an egghead, period. Now, if you ever ask me, what have I accomplished, right? You ever ask me, what level of success have I achieved? If it's in terms of speaking, if it's in terms of podcasting, whatever it is, I will shoot you straight and I will give you the God honest truth. I'll tell people I've spoken for free. I'll tell people I've spoken and also been paid. And I, how I started coaching. When I first started coaching people, the first time I charged somebody like $97 for like a session. Then I charged like $150 for a session. Until I realized, John, what are you doing? You're shortchanging yourself. Why am I sharing this? The second step to be able to establish your authority with an individual is you want to show you want to share what you know or what you've done period don't don't try to share a strategy of what somebody else has done unless you're doing a case study don't try to show something and tell other people oh do this do that do this do that but you've never tried that strategy yourself if you've never tried the strategy yourself, then you should not be referring that to anyone. It's just bad business because then when the strategy doesn't work, then what? They say, well, you told me to do this strategy. And you're like, no, nah, I mean, I, I saw somebody else do it. Well, let that person go get coached by that individual that gave you the strategy that you never applied. All right, let's talk about it. OK, so you want to share what you've done. Period. And then. You know, after, after you share what you've done, then the beautiful thing is you have proof of concept. If anybody has ever asked me or does ever ask me, John, who have you helped start a podcast? I can name off people. I can talk about Abraham Scully with uh, with his Unlearn the Lies podcast. I can talk about CEO Breezy with her Fearless Faith podcast. I can talk about Maury Bland with his Mondays with Maury podcast. I can talk about Coach Tamika with her Entrepreneur Speaks podcast, right? We have to be able to show proof of concept as well as we need to be able to show case studies, right? So showing people when somebody first came to us, they had 10 followers. Then after we helped them and we worked with them, now they have 15 followers. Now they have 20. Now they have 15,000. Whatever the number is, you want to be in a position in a place to where you can show somebody where they were before and the individual started working with you and then where they are now. Because when you have those things in place, that gives you proof of concept and with proof of, proof of concept that then will bring you compensation. The compensation could be further authority established. The compensation could be brand elevation. The compensation could be dollars and cents. But if we never take the time to master a strategy, to master a skill, to master a particular industry or a lane, then you never will be able to provide proof of concept because you didn't stay in it long enough. Right? If you've ever seen the people who blow glass, imagine if they tried to just take one breath, blow it, and then try to move on. They have to blow the glass then they have to form the glass. Then they have to like put more heat on it. Like it's a whole process. But if you quit in the first step or the first phase, then it'll never get to the final phase to where it cools off and to where it has a beautiful shape. All right. So today, if you're somebody who's trying to establish your authority, then I want you to go back and look at these steps and just begin to ask yourself, have I done these things or what do I need to what's one thing I need to do from this training today that John gave us in this episode? That can help me begin to establish my trust with my audience, right? But I also want to let you know that the doors are open to the webinar. 
right? You can go to yourpodcastmentorshow.com and just at the top, you know, we have the, the registration where you can sign up to join the webinar where we're talking about how you can further, how you can accelerate your authority, accelerate your authority, how you can generate leads and how you can even get paid if you don't have a lot of followers, right? You can register at yourpodcastmentorshow.com. Go on and get registered. And also, if you have a question, submit your question. I would love, love, love to answer your question right here on the show. You can go on the website there as well. Down at the bottom right-hand corner, there's a microphone. Feel free to click that and then leave a voicemail. Give me your name. Talk about what's your podcast name. And then ask your question. And I'd love to potentially feature it on the show. And then also on the far left-hand side, you know, they got the Buy Me a Coffee logo. So if you feel that this episode has added any value to you or any episode has, feel free to drop a love offering. Whatever, you know, whatever works for you, whatever. But now let's go ahead and do the recap. Let's go ahead and do the recap. So the recap for how to establish trust with your audience looks like this. The first thing that you must do is you must always be integral. You must always operate with a level of integrity. Always, always, always operate with a level of integrity. All right, that, that's first, first and foremost. And then after you operate with integrity, you want to just share what you've accomplished. Right. What have you been able to achieve? Whatever step you're at. Just share that because there's going to be people if you're on step five, there's somebody who's going to be on step four. If you're on step four, there's going to be somebody on step three. So just share what you know and then people will begin to trust you. And as you begin to learn more, then you can put them on the more. The third thing is then you have to show proof of concept, show case studies, show the car facts of the people that you've helped, the people you've served and supported, the people who you've helped elevate their brand. All right. Because if you don't do that, then how will we be able to trust you? Family, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Make sure that if you're a speaker, coach or consultant and you're looking to either start a podcast or you're looking to establish and accelerate your authority, generate leads and get paid. Even if you have a small audience, go to your podcast, mentor show.com. And up at the top, we have the link to where you can register for the training. It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones, peace and God bless because here we help you establish your platform so you can profit on purpose from your podcast.